it's Isabella welcome back to my channel and if you're new here hi thank you for clicking on this video I hope you're enjoying I hope you've had a lovely day so far and I thought I would give you guys a few reading updates because quite a lot has happened quite a lot has been planned Will things go as they have been planned? We have yet to see. <laughs> the first piece of news that I have to give you guys is that I finished The Girl Who Drank the Moon by Lila Lee. I ended up giving this a four out of five stars and I have to say that I really loved this book. I really enjoyed so many parts of it and I was so correct in the fact that I thought that this was going to make me feel whimsy and I was just going to fall in love with the beautiful writing and I was just going to like fall deeply in love with this story and these characters and I'm so happy that I was correct. There were actually some bits where it was very reminiscent of The Little Prince which is one of my favorite childhood books. There are some passages where I literally just quote The Little Prince because a lot of the ideas and a lot of the morals that we get from this book I feel like are connected to what we learn from The Little Prince and I absolutely adored it. It made me feel so happy. <laughs> I don't know for some reason just seeing little elements and recognizing some parts of one of my favorite books inside of another beautiful book is just very serendipitous. I just, I, would, I had such a wonderful time reading this book and I mentioned this before in last week's reading vlog but I actually haven't read that many middle grade books and I'm really happy that this is one of the first books that I read of middle grade. I'm not counting Harry Potter or Percy Jackson as middle grade because they're just not. <laughs> they are not children's books, they are not middle grade books. So this was a wonderful introduction to middle grade and if you guys have any other recommendations for middle grade books, I am more than happy to receive them. I've actually been getting a lot of good recommendations from you guys um, about animes and books and k-dramas as well and that just fills my heart with so much happiness because the fact that we've been able to find each other and like to find people that like the same things as us and the fact that we can connect and communicate and talk and bond over this is like amazing i love it um i finished oh my god okay this isn't a reading update but i just have to share um i finished beauty on ice <laughs> I think I filmed myself watching the finale and I was a mess, not because it's sad, not because it was devastating, but because it was so beautiful and so wonderful and my heart was just brimming with joy and happiness and I just literally, I, just, I was so overwhelmed with how happy I was that I started crying. Um, yes. Um, <laughs> Um, I loved Beauty on Ice and I would really recommend it to you guys if you're looking for an anime that's not like action-packed, if you're looking for like a little more chill, a bit more focused on emotions and human relationships, then Beauty on Ice is definitely for you. After I finished Beauty on Ice, I was so devastated and so happy that I needed to start another anime immediately. Um, a little bit more action-packed with a little bit more violence. Um, so I started one anime that you guys were recommending a lot and it is Jujutsu Kaisen. I think I showed a bit of the clips of me starting it and like obsessing over it basically. Like it's so crazy that from episode one I was already obsessed, I was addicted and I watched nine episodes in one night. So <laughs> the fact that I started a new anime that is so fantastic and so addicting has actually put like a little blip on my reading plans because I haven't read any of the books that I was planning to read this week. Um, but I mean, it's still early and I did finish one of the books that I wanted to read. So I'm not mad. I am having fun. I am living the life, if I do say so myself. Like do, who's doing it like me? Absolutely nobody. And last night, um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, I'm turning into a whole weeb and I love it. Um, there's no turning back for me. I spent over four hours playing Genshin Impact with one of my friends, Maya, and it was such a blast just like exploring the world and leveling up and killing monsters and helping people and like it's just, 
it's so good and it's so healthy. You know what I mean? Like you release all of your stress. And why am I holding the girl who drank the moon when I'm talking about Genshin Impact? I'm sorry, but okay. Sorry, I'm getting off topic. Um, reading plans for this week. I have two books that I, two books that I wanna try and read. Um, I think I'm just going to like start one and the other one, we'll just see where it takes us. So the first book that I mentioned in last week's reading vlog is A Chain of Iron, written by the Cassandra Clare. Oh. This is the most recent addition to her Shadowhunter Chronicles, and this follows the children of a lot of my favorite characters. I'm not, I don't really want to say anything because I don't want to spoil it for baby Shadowhunter fans. So I am very excited to read this, especially because I'm going to be reading it with one of my best friends called Lisi. You've probably seen her in the past couple of vlogs. And we already read the first chapter together, which was an experience. I loved it. I am not sure how much we're going to be reading every day, but so far we've both been very busy. So we haven't read anything yet, but I think we're going to be starting today, like restarting today. And I am very excited. I want to know where my characters are, what's going to happen, what's the next tragedy going to be about, how am I going to survive this? I'm probably not. Like my feed is full of reading vlogs dedicated to Chain of Iron and everybody is crying their eyes out, which is exactly what I love about reading. Like I love being devastated. I love living vicariously through these fictional characters and I can't wait to get my heart broken. So this is the first book that I plan on starting this week. The next book that I wanna try and read this week is The House in the Cerulean Sea by TJ Klune. This was sent to me by Nicole in her beautiful box of happiness along with other very brilliant books. And I have heard so many beautiful things about this book, like the writing, they say it's probably going to destroy me and devastate me, which, you know, it's what I'm looking for at this moment. Um, so I am very excited to read this. I'm very excited to see how I feel about it. And I can't wait to share the experience with you guys. And also, it's beautiful. Like, I mean, you can never go wrong with beautiful books, except the books where the covers are better than the actual story, which are a lot of cases, unfortunately, but I'm pretty sure this is not one of those. So these are my reading plans for this week. We'll see how I fare, um, especially since I'm watching Jujutsu Kaisen and I have a lot of episodes to catch up on. I also need to catch up on Attack on Titan and I also need to start another K-drama that just came out. Oh my God, <laughs> I have so many plans and not enough time. And I love that. Like it's making me so excited and it's making me so happy. So like, how are you guys? How are you doing? I hope you're doing wonderful. Thank you so, so much for all of the love and support that you've been giving me in my last few vlogs, especially in the last one. I feel like I just got like an overflowing amount of love and I will never be able to fully describe how much it means to me so in every video i will just repeat it i love you guys so very much i appreciate every single one of you and i hope you're having a wonderful day so far and if you're not i hope my vlog gives you a little bit of comfort for like the next half hour i think so drink water i saw y'all thanking me for reminding you to drink water and hydrate yourself. Drinking water is so important. You don't even know how much your body needs it until you're like literally dying. <laughs> so, okay, maybe not that extreme, but still drink water, my dudes. Like it's legitness. <laughs> Go outside for a little bit, like get a little vitamin D from the sun, you know, say hello to the clouds. I don't know, like just go outside, get some fresh air. You, it's just like fresh air does wonders to the soul. So like you should go out, uh, maybe take pictures of the sky. I don't know, like just live in the moment. You know what I mean? Like get off your screen, take a walk, do something. <laughs> um, so I hope you guys enjoy this week's reading vlog. Um, again thank you so much like i get every time that i think of all of the comments that you guys sent in i get so happy and so emo because i have such a wonderful time responding to each and every one of you guys i feel like we all have a connection with each other and that just feels so special like that bond is irreplaceable and 
<laughs> before I start crying, I'm going to stop. So hope you're having an amazing day. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.
The House of the Cerulean Sea by TJ Klune. Um, I just finished this masterpiece. As you can see, I absolutely, I absolutely loved it. Um, definitely one of my favorite books of 2021 so far. I have only read like 12 books so far this year, which is very different from the 90 books that I read last year, but I've come to the decision that it's not really about the quantity anymore for me, it's more about the quality. And I've definitely been reading a lot of amazing books. This one is definitely in my top five. Like this is the type of book that makes you feel so many things and it also imparts such a special and important message about how being different isn't always rewarded and how it's not always an easy thing to be but how it is very important and it also has the found family trope which is like my weakness and the characters in this and the children which are magical like wait did i even explain what this is about how do you even go about explaining what the house in the cerulean sea is basically magical beings exist all types like there's yetis shapeshifters there's um, gnomes, there's phoenixes, there's like all types of magical beings. So the children live in orphanages because they are unfit to live in normal society. And these orphanages are like specially made for them. And our main character called Linus Baker, he is a caseworker. And sometimes he gets to visit these orphanages just to make sure that everything is running smoothly. The children aren't being mistreated, even though a lot of the times they are, which is terrible. Like children being mistreated, we are not here for that. Linus Baker gets assigned to this very special case which is this house, this orphanage right over here. And in this house, in this orphanage, in this home, he meets this group of children that are very, very special. And one of them is actually the Antichrist. <laughs> now I know how that sounds. It sounds like it's very intense. It sounds very action-packed, like the Antichrist, the end of the world, like, come on. But it really isn't, like, the Antichrist, like, you don't even understand. It is one of the most wholesome books I've read. It is so whimsical and so beautiful, and the writing and the characters, the character development, like, the relationships that you build with these people, it's... <laughs> just thinking about it makes me so emotional because it it's just a book that explores the power of love and the power of uniqueness in a way and also the power of standing up against your oppressor and how important it is like how important change is and it's just it's so many things and i really want you guys to read this book because i loved it and i feel like everybody can take something different away from this so like like i just finished it and i want to reread it already so if that doesn't tell you how much i loved it oh that's cold <laughs> wait Ooh, that's nice okay so if the fact that i want to reread it as soon as i finished it doesn't let you know how much i love this book i don't know what will now that i finished the house in the cerulean sea my other reading plans were to read chain of iron by cassandra clare and honestly here's the thing okay listen i feel like with cassandra clare books you just need to be like in a specific mood like if you force yourself to read this gigantic book of 600 plus pages you're not really going to appreciate it as much as you would if you were in the right mood so i think i'm just going to let the mood strike i'm not going to force myself to read it right now so that's it this is the one book i read <laughs> But I also finished Yuri on Ice, 10 out of 10 anime, and I also started Jujutsu Kaisen, and I am now in episode 17. <laughs> yes, we love the weeb life. So I think I'm going to end the vlog here. I really hope you guys enjoyed this week's reading vlog. I had a lot of fun filming it and editing it, and I really hope you guys liked it, of course. Again, if you have any anime film recommendations, because I feel like when I was organizing them, I realized how little I've seen of that whole world. And I feel like there are so many good ones that I'm missing out on. So if you have any recommendations, please let me know. And also, 
what else what else is there i feel like i've been neglecting my k-drama love a bit because since i've been so involved in the books and anime world i haven't really caught up on any of my k-dramas so i think next week's vlog which is going to be here in my mountain home because we're going to be spending the weekend here like the whole week here um i think i'm going to try and watch the K-dramas that I'm currently watching, so stay tuned for K-drama recommendations and anime recommendations. Also, next week, I am going to be reading a classic book, which I am terrified of because, I don't know if you remember, but one of the reasons that I was in such a terrible reading slump was because I tried to read a classic. So, I'm kind of terrified, but I really want to try it out because it's just one of those classics that you want to read before you die. Not saying that I'm going to die soon, but I mean, you never know. <laughs> so before I get even more existential, I'll just end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> I love you all so much. I hope you're having an amazing week whenever you're seeing this. Stay healthy, drink water, go outside, get a little bit of sun and vitamin D. I love you all so much. Oh, tell me what your favorite part was. And if you're still here, comment this emoji just to know that I'm not speaking to the void. Okay. Bye. Hey, Jimmy, you nice. Keep going.